get ready me for a boat day in Mexico. Okay, it's 7 a.m. right now. I woke up two hours before my alarm, but I'm awake and I'm energetic, so. Last night, we had dinner at the most gorgeous restaurant ever. It felt like we were at Greece. This was us walking down. This was dinner. It was the best thing ever. Amazing food, amazing view. Like, everything about it was just perfect. Today, we're doing a boat day, and I couldn't be more excited. I don't think I've ever been on, like, an actual, like, boat boat. I've been on, like, cruise ships and ferries, but never an actual, like, boat boat. Also, Kosas' new dream beam is the best. Also, all the girls on this trip are so stunning. Everyone pulled up to dinner with such a flawless face of makeup. Like, I called it in my get ready me last night. Okay, I want my makeup to turn out really cute today because I want to do photos on the boat. We got some really, really cute photos last night. I posted some on my Instagram if you guys want to see. But I love getting good pics on vacation. It's like the best feeling ever. Also, I literally cannot express how amazing and perfect the weather is right now in Mexico. Like, it's just perfect. I'm literally only doing my makeup just because I want to do photos. And then right after I get one good photo, I'm jumping straight into the ocean. If I'm near water and if the weather's nice and if I have a bathing suit on, I will not not jump in. I feel like it's also the fact that the water is just too cold to swim at at home. So every time I get the chance to swim in nice water, I will swim. Okay, I'm using like my pinky makeup by Mario blush today because I feel like it fits the vibes. <laughs> I just realized the one thing I did forget to bring on this trip was highlighter. I'm like sitting here looking at the view and I'm like, wow, like, is this even real life? Like, it's just so insanely crazy. I don't know. Okay, I'm adding a bit more bronzer because I feel like you can never be too bronze on vacation. More blush, always. I don't even know if I should even bother putting mascara on. I'm gonna anyways, I know it's gonna bleed, but I'll bring makeup wipes. Both the mascaras I'm using is waterproof, but like, I feel like they always still end up bleeding no matter what. So like, is it a scam? Okay, I'm definitely gonna be bringing my makeup wipes because I don't want to be looking like a zombie, but bye guys! Good morning everyone, let's get ready for the day. I'm actually not going to school today because I'm done all of my exams. Finally, I'm so excited that they're all done. So, school holidays now, which is so exciting. And how long does everyone else have school holidays for? Because we have it for two weeks. I feel like everyone does so, right? Like two weeks is a pretty normal amount. But I'm going away for the first week of school holidays. I'm so excited. We're going to Heron Island. It's so nice there. And they'll have like turtles and everything. I'm just, I can't wait. It's going to be so much fun. And we're leaving on Saturday and then we get back next Saturday. And the weather there is supposed to be really good, which is amazing because the weather here on the Gold Coast recently has not been it. It's been raining and just cloudy every single day. It's been horrible. So it'll be nice to leave here and go to somewhere where there's nicer weather. Although today the weather's actually looking pretty good. So don't mind my hair. I know it's looking a mess. I'm going to tie it up soon. I've been like sick this whole week. I'm finally getting better, but I still don't feel good. I still have like a little bit of a sore throat, a blocked nose and like a headache. All that just normal sick stuff. But I'm slowly getting better. It's always when like the weather's getting colder that I always get sick. And two of my friends, Ali and Olivia, were also sick, so I probably got it from one of them. But this morning we're dropping Maddie off at a cattery because they're only open today since tomorrow's Good Friday. She's staying there whilst we go on holiday because she needs extra care. With everything that happened with her and her like breaking her back and all of that, we just thought it'd be better for her to go to a cattery. Then our other pets are going to our grandparents' house. Yeah, so we have to drop off Maddie very soon, actually. This is my first time getting ready all week because whenever I'm sick, I just don't get ready. I tucked on some moisturizer, curled my lashes, and that was all I did. It feels nice to get ready. Find on some eyebrow gel. Also, if you guys have any good, like, chick flick movie recommendations, please let me know because I've been on, like, a movie binge-watching spree recently. So if you have any, let me know. I on some purple, and then I'm all done. Okay, that's it, and I hope you all have a great day. Try 
these brand new products from AF94. I've heard nothing but great things about these, so I can't wait to try them. Okay, so first up, I'm going to try the Playdate Glow Multi-Use Cheek Plus Lip Color. Okay, I just want to show you guys how gorgeous this is. So I'm just going to put a little bit on my cheeks. It goes on so smoothly and it almost like melts. Can you see it? Okay, I'm just going to blend this in. Do you guys see how easily this blends in? I'm so in love with this color. Do you guys see it? That's actually so stunning. Next, I'm going to try the Lava Lust Lip Stain. I think this is so cool. Like, literally, you can like shake it and it's like... It's so cool. It looks like a science project. Okay, also, you can buy all of these at Ulta. And they're all under $10. It's literally insane. Okay, this is literally so pretty and it's gl glittery too. That gave the perfect, like, tint to my lips and it's glittery. Literally so perfect. I think this is perfect for the summertime. These are definitely going to be some of my go-to products. I'm in love. Like, this blush, it feels so good on the skin and it just melted and this is so shimmery and perfect and pretty. Okay, and the fact that you can use this on your lips too. It feels like a lip balm mixed with a lip gloss. Okay, and the color? This stuff is so amazing. I would definitely go check all this out at Ulta. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Good morning, and let's get ready to go to school. Okay, I'm using my moisturizer, but I honestly slept pretty good last night. It looks like my face is a little red. I think it's just the cold because we woke up at 44 this morning where I live, which is, like, really cold. I've been using this lately under my makeup, and I really like how it looks. So it's the Summa 30 SPF. I just put it on my face, even though I don't think you should. I'm just going to mix this with my dark gloomy lotion. But I'm honestly kind of excited to go back to school because it gives me something to do. I was kind of bored, like, mostly, like, all spring break. So going back to school gives me something to do, but then I have a lot of homework to do. Whenever I use these products, it makes my face look so glowy. Like, it matters my face with my body because I got tan during break. And, like, it just looks so cute. My face does not tan at all, so I always look very pale. After my Lumi lotion, I'm going to do some of this power grip. This is what honestly makes my makeup stay on all day. Um, ever since I implemented this into my routine, I just find that my face is 10 times better. I want to do really light makeup. Like, I don't want to do too much. But I always say that, and then I end up doing, like, a lot of makeup. But I'm being, like, actually real this time, and I don't want to do that much. So I'm going to use my Elf Halo Glow. This stuff is so good. This is better than the Charlotte Tilbury, in my opinion. Like, don't waste your money on that. Just get this. I kind of got tan, as you can see, but not really. I just want to go this weekend at the beach to maybe get a little bit more tan. It was really cold, like, the last days of spring break, so I just, like, didn't want to go. My math teacher was, like, really chill the last two days before break, and he didn't give us, like, any homework and any work at all. So I hope that's, way, that's how he starts off the break because I don't want to have homework the first day back at school. Honestly though, knowing how he is, that probably won't be the case. I'm going to try a different order in my makeup routine tonight. So someone commented that I should try bronzer before like liquid blush because every time I put on my Rare Beauty blush, it goes away right after I put bronzer on. So let me just do this first and see if it makes a difference. Okay, I'm going to mix Bliss and Happy and see what it makes. Hopefully this blends out good. Now I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. This is what blurs my makeup in place, and it doesn't move all day. Okay, I just did my brows. I think I'm going to do the Lash and Roll Mascara today. I'm going to curl my lashes first. Okay, guys, my mascara looks really weird right now, but I'm going to use some of this. And then I'm going to use the powder stuff on top. But I look like a doll. Like, I don't look real. Okay, guys, it is so cold outside, so I'm wearing my Brandy Zip Up, um, Brandy Sweatpants, Target shirt, um, Boutique, and Francesca's, and then earrings are Target. That's like get ready with me. Bye guys. Get ready with me to go to the beach. I'm gonna use sunglasses as a headband because like we gotta keep the hair out of the face. Also, this is like the swimsuit we're wearing today. It's from Hollister and it's like crochet. We're currently in St. Thomas. This is literally the view from my room. Like amazing. Yeah, okay. I'm putting on SPF 50 sunscreen because the UV is literally gonna be 11 today and I wanna get tan, but I don't know if Brian is gonna. This is from like is tree or something i don't know i'll link it also mixing in the frilliance bronzing glaze because i'm too pale to be here yesterday was basically just like a travel day like i tanned for a bit but we didn't go to the house till like three so the sun was basically already like setting i'm putting this Sachi beauty like lip liner stain on my lips 
just so that when I'm there, my lips aren't like super pale. I'm horrible at applying that, but I'm pretty sure it'll like stay on the ocean. I am just so happy to be here because like seasonal depression is so real and the sun just like puts the life back into me. I got this Say like glow thing and peach glow. And I kind of bought it like specifically for the trip just because I thought it would be so pretty for the beach in this. Or like even going out to dinner later, like I just feel like the shade goes so well with like sun-kissed skin and it's so glowy. We peeled off the lips in and now like my lips are just gonna stay like this all day. Going in with waterproof faux freckles because my freckles already came out. Like as soon as I go in the sun, they come out. But we're just gonna like enhance them a bit. Also have the fattest pimple on my chin right now. Like please ignore it. It's just it's not even funny. I'm hoping that the ocean cures my pimple. I feel like it literally will because the ocean kind of cures everything. But we're ready. Gotta put shorts on and sunscreen on my body. But yeah. Bye. Hey, good morning, you guys. It's currently like 6:30, 6:40. We're running a little bit late for school, but we gotta get ready for our long lecture day. Okay, I'm gonna go pick out an outfit. It's back to being like 30 degrees in Utah, so we gotta dress warm. So we're wearing this crew neck, these pants, and I think I'm gonna wear my brown puffer that's like check and my brown converse. So we're gonna throw this on. Here's the fit on. I feel like it looks pretty cute. I don't know. We're just gonna roll with it. I'm definitely just gonna do some natural makeup today because we are in quite a rush. That's why I love dyeing my eyebrows and eyelashes and putting a little fake tanner on my face because then I wake up feeling like, oh, I can leave the house. Like, not bad. On today's agenda, we've got ICU and then we have psych and then I don't think we have a sim afterwards. So I think it won't be too long of a day, which is nice. I'll be completely honest, Zach and I were up way too late watching this new show we found and I do have regrets for staying up that late, but it was actually so fun. So I think it was worth it. Okay, time for her. I think since I'm gonna be wearing like a big puffy jacket, I'm gonna do like a slick low braid, possibly. Okay, you're all ready for a long lecture day. I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you later. Hey guys, get ready with me to go to school. Um, I actually am not that tired this morning, which is a surprise. I'm actually obsessed with like the aesthetic of the glow recipe bottles. Like, they just look like little potions. I use this toner every day and it's not even like, it's literally just nearly halfway. Today after school, I'm going to watch Tina Turner the musical. So I'm really excited for that. But we're going on like a coach trip because I'm going with my dance school. Coach is leaving like straight after school. So I basically have no time to get ready. Um, which means I don't know what to do with makeup, if to put any on now or just put makeup on in the coach. By the end of school, my makeup will probably be like melted off my face because it's actually like really sunny today. Don't know what is going on. I've got school tights on and I'm sweating. I think it's like 12 more Fridays till summer, which is like so exciting. I've already convinced myself that basically it's summer already. I mean, it feels like summer today. Also, my eyes are really red because last night in the shower, when I got home, I went straight in the shower and washed my hair. And I got all this, like, hair mask in my eyes. And now they're just, like, really sore. I'm really stuck whether to do any makeup or not because, like, I'm not going to do any. Actually, that's a lie. The only makeup I am going to do is just a tiny bit of concealer because my eye bags are, like, very, very much out today. I'll pack everything else and do it on the coach because all I really need is just a bit of bronzer and blush, like and highlighter. That's basically everything I consist of my makeup routine. Okay, I'm all ready for school now. I'm actually running on time, which is good. Bye guys. I'm so tired. Hey guys, ready with me for school. I don't have any time to do anything with my hair today. I woke up kind of late and now I have to leave in like 20 minutes. As you can tell, we're on a pink theme today. So I have two pink outfits in mind and I'm just gonna let Alexa choose. But my face feels super soft and like hydrated today because I did a face mask last night and you guys, yesterday was like one of the first nights I didn't do any homework at all. Also, one of my nails broke off, so don't mind that. But yesterday I had two tests and those two are the last ones I have before spring break. 
Also, yesterday I looked super pale, so I'm just gonna use this today so that I can look more bronze. But because those are my last two tests, decided I was gonna rest. And so after school, I got home, I played with my dog, I went on a walk, I watched Love is Blind, but I really want to watch new shows or movies. So if you have any recommendations, please let me know. I have to leave in like 10 minutes, and I can't find any of my makeup products. I don't know why I woke up late. I literally slept early last night because I was actually able to. Does anyone else feel more tired whenever you sleep early and you sleep more? Or is that just me? Because whenever I get like five hours of sleep, I feel perfectly fine when I wake up. Okay, I found out my plans for spring break. I'm going to Georgia Saturday and Sunday. On Monday, I have to stay in my hometown because I have practice. But I'm so excited for Easter. I just remembered I have a meeting after school. So this needs to stay all day. And I don't think I'm doing anything Tuesday and Wednesday. Actually, I have practice on those days too. But then on Thursday, I'm going to go to the beach. And then that weekend, I'm going to Charleston. I feel like whenever I schedule things with my friends and plan hangout, like my schedule and their schedule never align. It's either I'm always busy and then they're free or they're super busy and I'm free. Gosh, I seriously need to hurry up. I might just not wear mascara at all highlighter i don't think i'm gonna wear mascara today i'm just gonna put aquaphor which i'm starting to make into a habit for the summertime okay this doesn't look terrible but let me show you guys my outfit option i'm thinking of wearing these low rise and obviously we're wearing pink today so this is my first option or should i wear a short sleeve in this color alexa choose a number between one and two it's one this is the outfit okay recently i've been obsessed with this black opium perfume but i only have the sample version okay i don't know what i'm gonna do about my hair i think i'm just gonna braid it in the car i don't have to pack my bag because i literally didn't touch it at all after school yesterday have an amazing day. Bye, I love you guys. Hey guys, get ready with me for school. So guys, today is Tuesday and I catched it. But anyways, today is Tuesday and we've only got like three more days or two more days till Easter break. But it's sunny today as well. So that's great. Now I'm going to use my Glorious Feet Do Drops. I love these. I really need to get the huge drops because I've been, since they came out, I've been really wanting them. So I'm going to get them. I'm just using my Biomark Depuff Eye Gel. I decided to do my drug Eleven today that kind of looks like a starfish but lost an arm. Anyways, I'm going to add my bronzing drops. I came out like water again. Sit back. No, no, sit back. That's what I'm saying. Sit back. Now I'm going to rub this in. I'm gonna do that with a This is the second I'm seeing, I've Bye. last 24 hours oh i dropped my little spatula the worst last 24 hours of my life like i must have skipped one of those sounds on tiktok on my for you page woke up yesterday morning feeling the most down bad that i've ever felt in my entire life i have the flu and then i basically slept all day yesterday and finally woke up at like 8 p.m around then but every time i would try to sleep throughout the day my skin just felt so raw i don't really know why i think i was just having body aches but at one point i was just like sobbing from how much pain i was in and once i finally got up to shower last night i started my period and uh, now i've just been a bitch before i do the rest of my patches i need to crack open this electrolyte drink I do feel a lot better today though. I finally got up and made myself like a real meal today, which I haven't been able to do. And that was really good. Now I'm like so behind on schoolwork, which sucks. Like that's what I hate the most about being sick. Now I just have so much stuff to make up, which I couldn't even do in bed yesterday because I was just asleep all day. And I've been like so scared to email my teachers because at the beginning of the year, one of my teachers was like, if you're out sick, like don't email me. Hand me the note in class. I like don't remember which one of my teachers said that. So I just emailed all of them and I was like, I'm sorry. This is 
making me feel so much better, especially on my forehead. My face has been so hot and puffy. All right, I'm just gonna let these sit for the next like 15-ish minutes and go try to do some homework in my bed. But I just wanted to come on here and talk to you guys because I feel like I've been not posting because I feel like death, but I love you. Get ready with me, how to heal from a breakup because relationship advice is my thing. I did want to become a therapist, but it takes like 11 years. So I thought, why not just post about it on TikTok? First things first is let yourself feel. If you're sad, if you're angry, don't shut it in the back of your mind and just think, oh yeah, I'll deal with it later. Deal with it then. Sit in bed for a day, cry it out, do whatever you want. But when you wake up the next day, you need to get up, get out of bed and carry on your routine because I'd rather feel like shit doing my day-to-day -day routine than feel like shit getting myself into a place that I might not be able to get myself out of. And eventually you'll think to yourself, oh, I haven't thought about that for a long time. I haven't been sad about that for a long time. So you just need to feel like shit right now. Second one is cutting all contact. There's no need for you to be in contact with your ex. I genuinely don't think there is. Can you be friends with your ex? Not really, because once you get a girlfriend, <laughs> you can't be in the life. You fucked him for God's sake. Right, I apologise for that. That's a bit far-fetched. I just feel like if you're still in contact, it will make the situation worse because although you broke up and you've been sad about the breakup, because you still have contact, you still get to hold them in some way. So it's better to just cut contact now because eventually you are going to go your separate ways. I'd say block them off everything as well. This kind of ties in with the no contact thing, but you also don't want to see what they're doing. You don't need to see what they're doing. You might be eager to see what they're doing, but it's best if you don't. And it's also best to like tell your friends, don't tell me if you find out they've been up to summer or other people. I don't want to hear it because if you start hearing what they're up to, like say if they're getting with girls or doing whatever shit thing they want to do, you don't want to hear that because it's just not a nice thing to hear and that might just upset you even more. My advice is don't go looking for anything and it will find you. What's meant for you will find you. That's why the last one left because it wasn't meant for you.